Let's assume that Mark is going to deposit a thousand dollar in a bank for one year and in return he will receive 10% per annum. Therefore, this $1,000 the deposit is called the principal, which we give it simple P, equal $1,000. And the one year refers to our time, which we give it simple T, which is equal to one year. And the 10% per annum is our interest rate, which we give it simple little r, and this is equal to 10% per annum per year. So what will be the total interest amount Mark will receive after one year? So this is called our interest amount, which we give it simple capital I. Therefore, if Mark will deposit $1,000 for one year and will get 10% per year. So what will be the total interest he will receive? You're right, it's $100. How did you calculate it? We have a very simple formula, which is our interest amount is equal to principal times interest rate times time. Therefore, let's substitute here. Our interest amount is equal to a principal of $1,000 multiplied by simple interest rate of 10%, multiplied by time, which is one year. This will give us $100. So let me give you another scenario. What if Mark is going to deposit this $1,000, but for three years instead of one year? So what will be our new interest amount? Substitute in the same formula. Therefore, I know that our interest amount is equal to a principal of $1,000, multiplied by simple interest rate of 10%, multiplied by our new time, which is three years. And this will give us $300. Let's have another scenario. What if Mark is going to deposit this $1,000 in a bank for six months? Therefore, we need to substitute in the same formula, which is I equal PRT. But can I re replace T with six? Of course not. Why? We have a very simple rule here, which is our time and interest must have the same time unit. What do we mean by same time unit? It means that the time should always follow the interest rate, which means if interest rate is every year, the time should be in years. If interest rate is every month, so the time should be monthly. If the interest rate is weekly, the time should be in weeks. Therefore, our interest rate is usually expressed as annual rate. Therefore, we need to convert time to be annual as well. For example, if time is given as semi-annual, which means every six months, therefore, in order to convert it to an annual time as years, you need to divide by two because we have two six months per year. If time is expressed as quarters, in order to convert it to years, we need to divide by four because we have four quarters a year. If time is expressed as month, we need to convert it to a year. So how many months do we have per year? 12. So we need to divide by 12. If time is expressed as weeks, therefore, in order to convert it to a year, we need to divide by 52 because we have 52 weeks per year. If time expressed as days and we need to convert it to years, we need to divide by 365 because we have 365 days per year. So in our new scenario here is Mark is going to deposit a thousand dollar for six months. So how many months per year do we have? 12. Therefore, our interest amount will be a thousand dollar times 10% multiplied by six divided by 12, which is half a year. And this will give us an interest amount equivalent to $50.